Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UI Path by Sujita. In this video, we are going to learn about a new action which is available in UI Path Studio to test a single activity in the entire project. Right? We have uh, learned about different debugging actions which are provided by UI Path in our previous videos. Now, this is very important one which is test activity. Test activity. Test activity is used to test single activity out of the available activities in the workflow. So here it is going to skip skips the previous activities right we'll concentrate previous not uh, we, we can say like other activities not only the previous and later also say suppose out of some uh, seven to eight activities you are going to test the middle one it will ignore all the activities okay so this is the concept of test activity. Now let us see how to test an activity, how to use this action and where this button is. You may ask with this question, Sujita, where this test activity button is? Where this action available? Is it something in uh, design ribbon or debug ribbon which we might have missed? No, this is available in context menu. So I'll show you that. For that, let us quickly take uh, uh, UiPath Studio. I just created a simple workflow here where I am taking input number from the user and dividing by 50 in order to understand how many 50s are available in the given number. So that is very simple workflow where I am going to test a particular activity. So before that let me run this. Uh, workflow for better understanding so I'll be running this file okay so what it is asking it is going to ask me please provide the number you want to find so I'll be giving some 600 so I, I just want to know how many 50s are available in this there are 12 50s in the number 600 exactly so this is the workflow now Instead of giving the number here or instead of um, uh, what to say executing the activities before this assign activity, I just want to test this activity. For that just select the activity which you want to test, right click on the activity, there you could see an option called test activity. This is the action which we are discussing so far, right? Now on click of this complete uh, what to say the mode uh, the UI path studio being changed to debug mode right now how to test this because it has some dependency on the input number right you may get this question right so is it something that we are going to provide on the fly when it is uh, running or is there any option you could see this yellow ribbon here it is prompting us saying you may now edit variables values in the local panel, right this is the local panel where you could see here press continue or step into when you are ready it is telling like you can edit the variables in the local panel and then you can continue or step into right so since i know that the int number value needs to be passed i am going to edit this okay i am going to give some value okay i'm clicking on okay now that i'm ready after giving some value in the variable i can either press the continue or step into now i'll continue this i'll, I'll use step into for better understanding let me use this so see it is getting executed for the test data what i have provided to this activity and you could see that there are what is the value this is the value this is the output there are 90 90 50s 
in 4500 this is my result so uh, you understood right I have tested only this particular activity where this int underscore number value been passed using locals right and the result been appeared here that's it when you click on continue it will not execute the rest of the activities that's it it has exit it has exited it came out of the sequence right want to test it again right let me use test activity so that it is prompting us so let us give some value here okay okay now since that i'm ready with the value i'm just clicking on step into so that it will test this particular activity and gives me the result okay output if you see the value, it is the output. 6450s are available in 3200. Perfect. So, let us continue this. If you click on continue, if you click on continue, it is not exe uh, executing the next available activities, right? This is how we can test a particular activity without debugging the entire project. So this is very useful if you want to test a single uh, activity in a big very big project right understood. So I hope you got the clear information on this test activity if you like this video please share with your friends and colleagues and give a like symbol. Also please do subscribe our channel for more support. Thank you so much for the support so far meet you through our next videos till then happy learning and happy automating. Thank you bye bye.